Hi, the beautiful magnifying lens effect in PowerPoint looks like this. Can you see just that portion is magnified? Not just this, observe how the magnification continues all through the journey. Let me go back. Can you see here it is always magnified. On a click you can see that the magnification continues and it locks here. Let me show you how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. First, let us insert a picture from PowerPoint by going to Insert Pictures Stock Images. Let me choose the image of a bird. As I go down, I see this beautiful image of a peacock. Let me select that and say Insert. Make sure that the picture covers the entire slide end to end. As you can see, the dimensions of the photo and the slide area don't match. So let us go to crop aspect ratio and say 16 is to 9, which is the dimension for our slide. Let us click outside. Now let us place this to align with the top left corner and then click and drag. So the picture covers the entire slide area. Then let us create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and make sure that this is also aligned right on top of the previous one. The next step is to create the area which gets zoomed out. So let me go to crop, go to crop to shape and say oval. Now you can't really see much of it. Don't bother. Let us continue. Go to crop and say aspect ratio and say one is to one. Now you can see that this is the area that is cropped. Now this cropped area is way too much. I want to reduce the size of this. At the same time, I also want to choose the area that I want to finally focus on. The one that I want to focus on is this area, which focuses on the eye of the peacock. So let me hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the corner. Now that is a good enough size. Let me do a little bit of adjustment from this side as well. So I'm holding the shift button down. Now that looks like a good enough area for me to focus on. Next, I'm going to expand this photo. Can you see here the transparent version? Now, this is the portion that I want to expand. So let me hold the shift button and control button and then click and drag from the corner. And now let me click outside. Can you see this is the zoomed version? Let me click on fit slide to current window. You can see that this portion is zoomed. Now, there should be some way that people can recognize that this is the zoomed area. So I'm going to select this, give it an outline. So let us go to picture format, go to picture border and make it into a white outline. Let us even increase the weight of the outline to say somewhere around four and a half points. Now to give it a little bit of a lens like effect, I'm going to right click on this portion, go to format picture, go to shadow and then add an inner shadow. So let us go to inner and you have this option here called inside center. And then I'm going to increase the blur. Now as I increase the blur, it looks a little bit like a magnifying glass. Excellent. Let us close this. Then let us create a duplicate slide. Now let me zoom out a little bit once again. Click on this and then go to picture format and click on the crop. Now you can see that this is the area of focus. Now comes the most important part of the tutorial. Now we are going to move this area of focus to outside the slide area. When I move my cursor to this crop area, you can see that there is this four headed arrow. That means I now have a handle on the zoom area and I'm moving the zoomed portion. I'm not moving the photo behind it. I'm just moving the zoomed portion. I can take it well outside the slide area. Don't really bother even if the zoomed portion extends out of the photo area, like the way that you are seeing here. Just leave it outside. Doesn't really matter. When I go to slideshow, you can see that we don't really see that zoomed portion. Now let us go to the first slide, move it down so that becomes the second slide. And then to this slide, we are going to apply morph transition. So let us go to transitions and morph. And that is how the zoom happens. Let me show you the whole thing in the slideshow mode. On a click, we have the zoomed portion shown like this. When I go back, this is how it goes back. On a click, it comes back like this. Every portion along the way is also zoomed in. And that is what makes this effect so beautiful. 
If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have created, which is a much simpler version of this called how to create stunning PowerPoint zoom animation. This is a very popular video, which has more than 1 million views. It is very easy to execute. So click on the link that you see right here on your screen, watch that video and learn a very powerful technique. And that technique has a lot of applications. I'll see you inside that video.